Hi Miash, let me just show you how this painting looked when it was first painted, the blocking in part of this painting. And now I've added some textures on this mountain, a bit of greenery over here and the grassland and a small river. To paint this landscape, I'm using acrylic colors. So as you can see, I have some lime yellow and some sap green on my palette. Just gonna load in some of that color, mostly sap green this time because I'm gonna paint the river, the reflections in the river. Just sort of tapping it very lightly. I'm using a modified flat brush. You could use any brush and modify it. I just used a modified flat brush. Let's create a smooth transition. And another trick is that you may tap it very lightly and very gently. And I'm not loading in thick paint as of now because these are acrylic paints and after they dry they tend to dry a shade dull. If you're painting in oils, oil paintings don't do that. Okay, and something comes over here too. Just sort of mapping it out as it's gonna come. With that, keep that separation. Don't want that to look like one single piece, even in the reflection. And just a bit over here and there, not much. Just light tap. I can even tap it with your finger. Yeah, there, there is a increase in height of that bush. And slowly and gently tap it. And let me reflect these also in the meanwhile. I'm gonna load in decent amount of paint. Not too much or not too less. Look at that, just like that. This one flat brush has been I've been using this flat brush for so many things. Painting reflections, painting foliage and much more. Painting lily pads over here and there. And just a bit of highlight over there too. Not much of detailing goes there. Because as you can see that is a bit towards the mysterious side. And just put it downwards so that is about the reflection now i'll take up some lamello i've not cleaned this brush just take up some lamello and let's come over here and start dropping in some highlights we should take in more of lamello now i load in some thick paint so that the paint sticks on the surface And that helps me to get that natural and realistic effect. And just a bit over there too. Just trying to group them. Don't want that to be everywhere. Alright, take off some of the paint. Take off the excess paint. And something comes out with that. And you can add in a bit of yellow ochre to get that flavor of foliage, different foliage and effects. That'll be helpful. That'll work in a very good manner. And you can add in a bit of white also. Just a bit of white. Just sort of defining the boundary for this. Still, if you observe, I'm trying to leave some of that intact, some of the underpainting intact. It may be the blocking in part, or it may be the texturizing part. And look at that, there we have another. Go real quick. 
Use a paint on a palette is drying out. Now to that very same color, I'll add in some yellow ochre. Just a bit and mostly the two yellows will play the major role over here. And just a bit of green whatever was left out on that brush. Using lime yellow and yellow ochre, touch of sap green here and there. Just I want that flavor and I and we don't want the painting to look flat. And maybe let's pick some spot there. Let's drop in the grouping of some foliage, trees, bushes. Look at that, just like that. Don't eat up the thing what's underneath. And let's come over there. Let's drop in some more of that. And I've started this painting when the underpainting was completely dry. Skip some spots. This brush itself will take care of so many things. The textures, in fact, I painted the textures even with this brush. Look at that, that foliage effect of each individual tree or bush, the greenery. I'll go into the greenish side now for variety. Look at that. I'll mix up that green color with this, get another different color to paint the foliage. Now I've loaded in thick paint, but when you're loading thick paint, make sure that you tap it very lightly. The more the paint on the brush, and if you're looking for more textures, then apply less pressure on the surface. I'm gonna grab in some more of that lime and loop. Maybe I'll, I'll paint in green over there. Let's see. When I come when we come over here, let's drop in some bright colors. Or you could even make use of an worn out filbert brush. That is also equally good. Look at that, I'm toggling between colors and making it trying to make it look as photorealistic as possible now as you can see i've turned the canvas and let's come right over here just drop in some cooler colors in the shadow this view will give me a better idea Just a bit. Usually we start off from the back, that is this mountain, and work towards the foreground. Look at that, just tapping it. And just gonna tap it. And let's come over here and just drop in another coat of highlight over here. I did not paint in the texture over there because I wanted that to be too bright. Look at that, just load the brush like that. Just gonna tap it. It's that easy. Now I'll take in thick paint of cool green. That is just sap green. And I've not cleaned my brush from the time I started painting this. That is the starting of this video. And let's drop in some more of that reflection. Yeah, trace it like that. It's gonna be right over there. And just look bring it like that. Add in some interest in the painting. Just imagine that you're painting the foliage in the river. I would think that way. Just like that and that's gonna help. Make the painting look realistic and natural that'll go hand in hand. 
So it's just like that, you know. And just a bit over here too. I'm doing this when the paint is not too much on my brush. Just want to reflect what's above. Now I'll take a bigger fan brush and take in mostly sap green and lime yellow. Want it to be bright. Putting thick paint, not added water. And I'll drop in some glow on this grass. Hold the brush in certain angle. Just try to push outwards to get that fluffiness in the grass. And now as I come towards the foreground, I'll point the tip of the handle of this fan brush to the ceiling. Look at that. Now I'll take in some white, titanium white, and some of that color whatever was left out on my brush while painting this greenery. Load in thick paint and let's come right with that and just drop in. So I've just used two brushes as of now in this painting. In this video, that is the bigger fan brush and the modified flat brush. Let's keep some spots and that's gonna help a lot. That's a bit over there, will kind of help. And we don't want this to be everywhere on this mountain, this blue mountain. Just a touch over here and there. That'll make the painting look even more realistic. And something over here too. Everything fits together and make sure that you are using a lighter color for this. Added more of green into that color, some warmer color. Put in thick paint and just drop it in. But here make sure that the strokes are smaller. Now I'll take in some white, mostly white, I've not cleaned my brush. And let's come over here and just drop in some more of that upon those textures. This is done because I want this to be brighter. Just sort of drop it in right with that as I come towards the foreground, they'll get bigger. Following the lay of that land. Now I'll take in some sap cream. And let's come right over here and just place in some more of that. Something comes out right over there too. Just kind of brightening them up. Just try to cover the outermost sketch. Now I've taken some white, sap green, lime yellow, and yellow ochre. And let's come over here and just drop in some tree action. Right over there, skip some spots. Make sure that the underpainting is seen. Fair enough. And I'll mix in some black. 
on that same pile of paint. Let's come over there and convert this into a backlit tree. Look at that. Just like I'm adding texture. Then load in some thick paint of black, just in black this time. And go over this. And tapping it very lightly. Just a bit. And outermost tree which is exposed to light, the sunlight will be having less shadows and will be the practice of them all. Yeah, just like that. And now I'll take in some green and let's paint in some lily pads. Okay, and something comes right over there too and another one over here to make it look interesting and beautiful. With that just like that randomly place it very randomly don't want to follow any patterns with this i come to the end of this painting i hope you have enjoyed it and thanks for watching